I'm terrified. I am the next generation. The crushing grip of Alzheimer's disease is something Jennifer Cook Buman knows all too well. My dad passed away four years ago at age 74 uh, from Alzheimer's and his younger brother just turned 70 last week and is well on his own journey with the disease. This week, 25 Oregon researchers are joining nearly 6,000 attendees at the Alzheimer's Association International Conference in Los Angeles. New research reveals some biological clues as to why women may be more likely than men to develop the disease. Another shows doctors may one day be able to diagnose Alzheimer's with a blood test. And program director for our local chapter of the Alzheimer's Association, Heidi Rawl, says it could be a game changer. And it gives them that much more time to plan, um, to make a plan about what they want to do with their finances, what they want to do for their care. They can really speak up while they still have that autonomy and they still have the cognitive skills to be able to do so. She's also excited about new research that suggests adopting healthy lifestyle habits like daily exercise can offset genetic and environmental risks. For so long we, t we have told everyone that there is absolutely nothing that we can do about Alzheimer's disease and there's nothing to prevent it, treat it, slow it, cure it. And so now we're being able to talk about lifestyle factors and giving people that sense of maybe there is something I can do. 5.8 million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease. And if you don't think it affects you, think again. In 2019, the direct cost to Americans in caring for those with Alzheimer's and dementia is $290 billion. This year, for Medicare and Medicaid, it'll cost $195 billion. That's 67% of total costs. And as our population continues to age, those needs and expenses will only continue to grow. Oh, every single taxpayer is touched. They, they don't even realize <laughs> that they are impacted because it is expensive. And while those who are already diagnosed may not fully benefit from the new research we're seeing this week, it's giving people like Jennifer optimism for the future. For the family members, yes. I mean, I'm 52, so I'm about 15 years behind my family's typical diagnosis age. I am very hopeful. Now, to learn more about these studies and for local resources, including the 10 warning signs of Alzheimer's, check out this story on our mobile app or on KGW.com. And remember, the Walk to End Alzheimer's Portland is actually coming up this next month on August 24th.